folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 StarCraft Satellite 17RB. This is a short little couples model. It's perfect if it's just the two of you looking to bop around on the weekend as it's lightweight, so you can tow it with, you know, like a mid-size SUV. You don't have to get the big half ton, and it has everything that you need. Let's start off right over here. One of the things I do like about this floor plan is even though it is lightweight, you still get the slide-out kitchen. So that helps open up your living space right here. You'll see you have the single bowl sink as well as the two-burner cooktop with the high-rise faucet. And you have a lot of space right back here, you know, if you want to put some... Uh, knickknacks back there or soap you know maybe some dishes a, a little knife rack or something here whatever else you want but it is some uh, decent extra space in what would normally be a somewhat small kitchen you'll also see that you have your electrical outlet there window light up top and some additional storage up top here if we drop down below You'll see your biggest storage area will be right here. It does go back quite a ways. You have to contend with a P-trap on some of it, but again, that is still good usable space. And then you have storage underneath. You have three doors going along the bottom, as well as a bank of drawers right here with two large full extension ball bearing drawers there. So that way you have space for your you know, flatware, some of your larger utensils like knives, things like that. Uh, or you know, if you need a spot to put like your kitchen towels, that's a good spot for it as well. Convection microwave oven. This is your oven and microwave in one here. So great thing about this is it actually cooks faster than your standard oven and it's easier to clean. Directly underneath is the uh, fridge slash freezer. You'll see the drop down freezer box here. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Right up here on the wall is where your TV will go if you want one. I personally recommend getting a swing arm. That way you can install it here. If you're in bed, you can see it, but if you're sitting in the dinette, you can swing it out and around, just have a little bit better view. Tied into that, you have these audio video cables. Uh, that's tied into the multimedia center. I'll show you that a little bit later. Of course, your electrical outlet, and then you have your uh, cable right up here. So your signal booster is on there as well for over the air antenna. Directly above me is the AC. The controls for that are right on here. Pretty simple and easy to use. Of course, the bed itself is up here as well. Uh, and then underneath, you will also see that you have some additional storage. So if you want to, you know, throw something under there, you can certainly do it. Just be cognizant that your uh, direct vent furnace is under there as well. So you definitely don't want to put anything flammable uh, right down there. Taking a look up top here, this is that multimedia center I was talking about. This unit is Bluetooth capable here as well, which is great. Storage across the top. You'll see the kind of this cool glass, almost like a slate or like a... Uh, almost like a rock looking glass just kind of something a little bit different you know a little more designer pretty nice right over here is the dinette two person dinette you know just to, just enough room for the two of you here to play a game or have a meal together you get a window here as well so you have a view outside or again you know lets in some natural light for you this does drop down into a small bed but again folks it's pretty small it really won't accommodate much more than a child but at least it uh, does have that option and then if we take a look right back here course the entrance door right on this wall you have uh, some different controls including your slide and your awning you also have the Wi-Fi Ranger right here which is a signal booster so that way you can uh, turn that on and that'll help you get a, essentially a stronger Wi-Fi signal at the campground as we all know you know the campground Wi-Fi's tend not to be the best in all the spots so that will help you a little bit uh, so you can have some data here in your RV as soon as you walk in, you have this storage area. Now you'll see that you do have a removable shelf right here with the hanging rod, so you can take this shelf out if you want. That way you can use this as a coat closet, or you can just leave all of this in here and uh, you know, use it as like an extra linen closet or pantry or you know really whatever else you want. On this wall, you'll see your tank monitoring panel as well as your water pump and your water heater. Note that your water heater does run off both propane and electric. You can turn on both those at the same time for quicker recovery. Directly underneath that is your thermostat. Again, this only controls the heat as your AC is controlled on the AC unit itself. Then this one is a rear bath. So if we come in the back here, uh, you know, you'll see that because it slopes down, you know, you, once you get right about here, you kind of have to bend over a little. But all you really need to do here is use the toilet anyway, so that's fine. You have two cubby holes right back there. You also have two robe hooks here on the wall. The toilet itself, I'll take a seat on here just to kind of give you an idea. I mean, as you can see, I have tons of leg room here, plenty of shoulder room. Uh, you know, so you, although when you stand up, you got to watch your head a little bit. Other than that, you, you have uh, plenty of space here for the toilet. 
Pretty good size countertop. You have this extra space over to the side on the left, which I like. Decent size sink here as well. So it is easy. You know, you have plenty of room to wash your hands or brush your teeth. You know, you're not going to hit your head on anything. You have storage right underneath there. And then right up top, you have this little guy. So, uh, you know, this is perfect for soap and shampoo just because it's right next to the shower. Or if you want, you know, like magazines or something else up there, you can do that as well. Speaking of the shower, I'll take a step in here for you. So, the shower, I, you know, I'm going to be honest, it is a little tight. Uh, I'm six foot. As you can see, I'm basically hitting the ceiling. So if you're any taller than that, it's not going to work for you. If you're a little bit shorter, it should work just fine. You'll see the hand wand right back here. And then you have a little bit of shelving in there for your soap and shampoo. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Satellite 17RB. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You also see there's an LED light right up front for added visibility at night. Directly behind that is a single 20 pound propane tank. And then uh, back yet a little bit further is your battery. You'll also notice the diamond plating here on the front to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And above that is the fiberglass front end. The cool thing about this though, folks, is this is also your roof. It is a one piece fiberglass roof. So it starts right here in the front, goes all the way up over top and all the way down the back. The big advantage of that is the fact you don't have seams going across. When you eliminate those seams, you help reduce the chance for water penetration, help reduce the chance of water to come in from the roof. And as we all know, that is the number one place water likes to come in at. Also, you will see that because the natural curvature of the roof, the water wants to run to the front and back again where those seams are not. So it naturally helps keep it off your campsite and helps keep water out of the camper. You'll see right up here, you have solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it'll trickle charge your battery. Right up front, this is magnetic, so you can put it up just like so, super simple. If you take a look up front, you have good storage up front here. This right here is a cover for your propane tank, so you can cover that up. It looks a little bit prettier. Over to the side, you'll notice there's an LED light in case you're getting into your storage at night, or there's also the uh, battery disconnect there. So that way, you know, as soon as you're done camping, you can flip that, it'll kill all power to the coat, so you're not having that uh, slow parasitic drain on your battery. Power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. This one does have an LED light strip on there. And it doesn't matter if the awning's completely rolled up like it is right now or you know partially out or fully extended. You can turn those lights on. You'll be able to see them uh, at night no matter what position the awning is in. Two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to listen to some music out here, you can do that and kind of control the music right from your smart device. Couple electrical outlets there outside, need to plug anything in, that'll be the place to do it. You'll see the fender kind of coming out the side here, beautiful uh, aluminum alloy wheel on there, nitrogen filled tire for what that is worth uh, to you as well. And what you'll notice kind of on this design is that the wheel comes out a little bit. Uh, the reason for that is this is a smaller than, or narrower I should say, than normal box. Usually your travel trailers are eight foot, these ones are going to be six and a half. Now, even though you're going to lose a little bit of uh, you know, square footage inside, the advantage of that and the reason, you know, one of the big reasons they do it is because of towability. This is a lightweight travel trailer. Chances are you're not going to be towing with a half ton or three quarter ton pickup. You're probably using like a mid-size SUV. And when you have that, the, the narrower it is, the less wind resistance you're going to have. When you start you know, building trailers out way to the sides of your tow vehicle and start building it up really high, you're going to get a bun bunch of wind resistance. It's not going to tow nearly as nice. So by having that six and a half foot width, it tows a lot better. Plus, you don't have to get mirror extenders. You can generally see on both sides without having to extend those mirrors out. This one also has a single fold-out step. It is an aluminum step here, so that way that won't rust out on you. You'll see the grip tape there, so if it's wet, you can still get traction. Also, you have the foldable grab handle. This makes it a lot easier to enter or exit the RV. You have a little bit more control when getting in. Because it's a bigger grab handle, you know, you have that to kind of grab on before you even step up, which is pretty nice. Right here in the back, just in case you needed a little bit of extra storage, there you go. You know, again, it's not a ton, but it might be enough for a small grill, maybe some firewood, something like that. And it's still on the camp side, so it's very usable. You'll see right here is your square tubular bumper with end caps. Gives you a very convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Also right back here is your spare tire. 
Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's right there on the bumper. You don't have to get down your hands and knees or underneath the trailer to access it. On the off-door side, you have your 30 amp detachable power cord right here. Directly underneath that is your cable and satellite inlets. You also have the docking station here. So this has your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Black tank flush right here, you have a light. Also your water pump you can turn on from here. This is your city water fill. If the blue handle's in the downward position, you can also flip it up to the side to fill your fresh water tank with pressurized water. If you take a look right over here, you will see the termination with both your gray and black tank valves there. And if we go up in the very front, on the front side of this slide, you will see gravity fill. So if you want to fill your fresh tank with gravity fill, that is the place to do it. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 StarCraft Satellite 17RB. If you're interested in this lightweight travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.